How you doing? Did you smile today? Hey, did you smile today? Hey, did you smile today? How you doing? So I decided I'm gonna vlog every now and then, not that often. If you don't know, I'm Erin. I just recently moved to New York City and I don't know these streets like that, so I don't know if I'm gonna vlog on my phone or my camera. It depends on how I'm feeling. Cause I don't know these streets like that. It's only been a few months. So yeah, I think that you guys liked for my vlog when we what I took that you guys like food, a little bit of fashion. You guys like when I go outside, it's like the scenery and stuff like that. So that's what I'm going to include in my vlogs. They might be weekly, they might be once a month. We'll see how this goes. I don't know if you guys like long vlogs or short vlogs, but first I want to show you guys what I bought. Like I, I did a little retail therapy, not too, nothing, nothing too crazy. I'm still broke, but I did a little retail therapy. So I want to show you guys what I bought. So I did get a few stuff from Amazon. First I got the hair paint wax that everybody and mama be talking about so i got the color blue because somebody told me that i should try blue so this video is going to come out soon i don't know when but look out for that video i got a waist trainer a waist trimmer it's the sweet sweat i've seen so many ads about it and i was thinking this is a strategic buy actually it was somewhat spur of the moment but mostly strategic you guys know i'm trying to get a little slim thick or whatever so <laughs> not really but I thought if I worked out with this on, it might help a little bit. So you guys will see. I might do a review in like a few months to see if there's actually a difference. You know, take some before and after pictures and my experience, things like that. I don't know. And I got a drill. I am so excited. I'm about to be bought the building. Can he fix it? I'm so excited. Because I did buy some stuff and I got to put it together myself. But... <laughs> This little thing's gonna help me. Like all these boxes just came in the mail today. My dining room set is here. So I'm gonna put that together probably today. So as you guys know, this is my filming area, my study area. So the curtains that were up here, this rod thing fell down. It's supposed to be up here to connect the curtains and these holes are too big. So I'm gonna drill smaller holes next to it. And I might redrill the holes on this side for the next tenant who lives here. But yeah, that's my Bob the Builder 2 projects I'm about to do. And I also got some hair products from Marshalls. You know I couldn't go to Marshalls without getting hair products too. So I got the TGIN Twist and Define Cream. So look out for a twist out. I'm going to do a twist out with this. And I also got the original Dippity Do Girls with Curls Light Hole Jelly. This is what it looks like. I've seen Bianca Ray. Oh my gosh, I'm about to say it wrong. <gasps> Bianca Renee today use it. I've also seen Happy Curl, Happy Girl, Happy Girl, Happy Curl use this. And I know it's a light hole gel, but I really was interested to try it. It was only like $5 at Marshalls. I was like, why not? So these are two hair pots that I bought. This top that I'm wearing right now is from Marshalls. It's just a little crop top type of situation, little chill vibes. And I also got this top. This is a very chill vibes top. It's kind of cropped as well. I haven't fully decided if I like this top or not. Like it's cool, but I don't know. I don't think it's worth going all the way back to Marshalls to return it, so I think I'm gonna keep it. I also got these pajamas from Marshalls. They are so cozy, and it's an entire onesie. I love this so much. It gives me Christmas vibes, and it just cozy vibes, and I love it. I kind of wish that these buttons right here weren't fake, but it's whatever. That's all that I got from Marshalls, and I did splurge a little bit at Forever 21. Like, I don't think that I got enough to do an entire try-on haul. That's why I decided not to do it, but I got these earbuds. This is gonna look so good with my natural hair. Oh, and if you were wondering, this is day three of that Flexi Rod set. The reason why it looks like this is because I slept weird. I didn't really wrap my hair like that before I went to bed, so yeah. I also got this black belt because I need a new belt. I got some earrings. I got these heart-shaped earrings. And also got these stars. And I got a small pack of like tiny little studs because if you don't know, I have my second hole pierced and I just don't wear earrings like that. So I want to start utilizing the second hole that I paid for. But yeah, let's get into the outfits. So first I got this sweater. Girl, I don't know about this. Like it's cropped, I I ignore the pants, <laughs> but this is cropped. So I don't know about having a cropped sweater. I don't know about this band right here. I just, I don't know. I just don't know. I think it's somewhat cute, but if I were to like go back home with this song, my dad'd be like, why your stomach out? So, and I'd be like, I don't know. <laughs> why is there a zipper to this? Oh my gosh. Ugh, who puts a zipper in the back like that? Ooh, baby. Ugh, this is giving me very much business mom nothing wrong with that but i thought it'll be cuter than this <laughs> yeah let me step back a little bit i look like a box 
I don't want it like a box. I want it little, you know, little. Oh, let me stop <laughs> for a little. Oh, nah. Nah. And ignore the Halloween stuff in the back. Okay, mind your business. Okay, this top is a no for me. All right. Okay, two fails. That's fine. That's fine. This is why this isn't a full haul. It's okay. Now, this outfit better be a look. I got these jeans with this sweater. With this scarf, this better be a whole Thanksgiving vibe showing out for the fam. And you know what's even cuter? This sweater comes in a mask. Like what? I'm not gonna try on the mask because we don't know if it's gonna fit. Let's be honest, they didn't have a large on the rack, so I got a size smaller. So this is a risk, okay? I don't know if this. And they didn't have my size pants, so I got a size smaller. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna fit. I, I don't know. I never think that stuff is cropped until I see that it's cropped. Oh, I don't know about these pants. You gotta do that little. Uh, little thigh shimmy. Yes. Oh, these are tight. <laughs> All right, to complete this, we add. Oh my gosh. Who ain't got fashion sense? <laughs> Low key, shout out to my sister. She's like, when you go shopping and you start putting outfits together, I'm like, Psst, okay. I, I envision this and I think. I think it came to life. Stunning on y'all. Stunning. Okay. I love this. I love the scarf. It could go with anything. I love this. I love that it comes with a mask in the back. It got thumb holes. Yes. Yes. You better work. Come on, girl. Give a twirl. Do your thing. Oh, the they stuck to the right. I don't know the words like that. I had to bring y'all lower. So this is what we're working with. I wish this was a size large. When I go back to return these two tops, I'm gonna see they have this in a large. But if not, I'm, I'm gonna keep this. This this is a this is a unique find, okay? And clap it up for Forever 21 because when I went in, like usually Forever 21, you know, they be having like cute clothes and then they have like weird words on the back that don't match the outfit or they have like, oh, this is so cute. And then you turn around, it has like rips everywhere. I think they stepped up the game, like stuff is cute. <laughs> they have like a lot of trendy stuff, like, you know, puffer sleeves and plaid skirts and everything 90s and whatever else is trending right now. They had a lot of that. Like they, Forever 21, I stepped it up. I cannot breathe inside these jeans. When I go back, I'm gonna see they have a bigger size in jeans because if I eat for Thanksgiving, I do not want to unbutton these and be like, ugh, I don't want to do that. And I really want some jeans like some rips in it. The only rips are on the knees. Like, why would you want only your knees to be cold? I kind of want rips like everywhere, low key. But this is a look. Hey, how are you? Nice to see you, Auntie. It's been a while. You've been quarantining too. What's up? I don't know if this vlog gonna come out before or after Thanksgiving, but happy Thanksgiving if it comes out after. Now this last look, baby. This is a risk too because this is the most expensive. And I saw this on a mannequin. I'm like, oh, the mannequin's cute. Let me buy the entire outfit. And they didn't have my size, so I bought her a smaller size. <laughs> I have hope, that's what it is. Let me show you real quick what's supposed to look like before I put it on. So this is how the mannequin looks. She had this nice little plaid dress and this nice little turtleneck hoodie situation. Ooh, I don't know if this is gonna be big old bitly friendly. I don't know, we're gonna have to find out together. Okay. I'm so proud of this. Like, it's so basic, but it's just, man, if I had a nice little hat or something, I don't know, maybe some more jewelry on. It's a look, it's a look, it's a, is a is a look is a look is a look let me stop <laughs> y'all know i can't dance y'all learned that <laughs> my head can't go through see y'all not about to play me like this let me get y'all not about to play me like this all right i got my raggedy bind on let's try this again oh my gosh oh is this what it's like when a baby is going through you know to be birthed oh there is no reason, and I mean absolutely no reason <laughs> that head hole should have been that tight. Boy! I don't like this. I don't like how they just dangling like this. It's cool though. The dress will cover it up. The dress will cover it up. But let's see, do we like this? I like the color. I just don't know about the... Yeah, I don't like it. Anyway. <laughs> this dress said we're going past what boobs? Like, you can see how it's supposed to be, right? <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait, maybe I like just tuck these in. This is stupid. <laughs> and I ain't mad though. What did I say? The most expensive outfit that I mean, I can get my money back. I ain't scared of a refund. <laughs> I don't get how some people buy so many clothes and then be like, oh my gosh, I don't want to return any of it. Get your money back. You got 30 days. <laughs> 
But yeah, this ain't, this ain't, I ain't gonna four or six, I might break it, so this ain't going nowhere. But it, it would have been cute, I think. Probably not. Like, okay, this, this was a risk. This right here was a risk, and I took the risk, and yeah. But one outfit wasn't a fail. That's all I care. That's all I care about. One outfit was not a fail. And you know what they say? It's always the clothes. It's not you. Nothing is wrong with you. Something wrong with the clothes. Clothes don't fit. It ain't you. The clothes should fit your body. Now your body fit the clothes. I'm trying to think about how I'm gonna get this back over my head. Do I still not like this top? Yeah, I still don't like it. The hassle that I took to get this over my head. Uh-uh. Twenty dollars should be able to slide through my head with ease. Okay, what was the final decision? Everything from Marshalls to Stain, the plaid top, the blue top. The brown and the plaid dress, they gotta go. I'm gonna see they have a bigger size in the jeans. I'm gonna see they have a bigger size in the sweater. If they don't, they can stay. Actually, the jeans might go if they don't have a bigger size. The jeans be iffy, like pe people in jeans. Mm -mm. Like I got jeans. I'm more of like American Eagle jeans person. This is my first time ever trying jeans from Forever 21. Let's see, I got class in an hour and 30 minutes. Can I take this back to Forever 21 and head back? Or am I gonna be there for hours and I might buy something else? I think I can head there and be back. See, things has been weird because like it gets dark around like four o'clock here. So, you know, as a female, as a black female, I try not to be outside at night, but then night be coming too early. So, <laughs> the ghetto, <laughs> they like savings, <laughs> the ghetto. But whatever I decide to do, I'll see you guys later. So I was thinking about it and it's probably safer for me to put this stuff together first and then just go to the mall, like probably tomorrow or something. So let's get started. I'm so excited. <laughs> So I'll just open up the boxes. So this is a chair. This is the other chair. This is the bars for the table. And this is like the actual glass table. So I'm probably going to open this last and start off with putting the chairs together. I got four chairs, I think. All right, so these are how the chairs are looking. I got a gray color. It was between gray, white, and black for me. So I got gray because my bed is gray and I didn't get white because I thought that would be like hard to clean and I didn't get black because I thought it would be like too dark. I really want my room to be bright, welcoming, all those adjectives, so yeah. I saw on Amazon that people were complaining about the assembly. These instructions are pretty vague. Like, I learn better with like words versus pictures, but whatever. <laughs> So one of the reviews said like the holes don't match up for like the um, the screws and I can really see what they're talking about because this screw right here is kind of like to the right a little bit too far so I'm trying to like move it so all the screws can line up as best as they can. And would you believe that it took me like 45 minutes to actually figure this thing out? So I'm gonna have a video linked down below that I follow to figure this out if you're a female who's lost too. All right, all the chairs are put together. That took about 40 minutes. That wasn't that bad. Some of the holes are a little bit to the side and I couldn't really put the screw in. So I tried my best. I sat in each chair, did a little wobble shake and nothing. I didn't fail, so I think I'm good. Some of these are like a little bent, but I like how each chair came with five screws, whatever these things are called. So if one of them was a little off, then I had the other four, cause I only needed four. But yeah, it's time to get this table out. I'm so excited. Bob the Builder, can't she fix it? Yes, she can. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so heavy. Oh my goodness, so this took 40 minutes to do as well. I was so confused on how to do this crisscrossing thing. So if you do decide to get this table, it's easier to like line these up straight and then tighten this, not tighten it, but like tighten this enough and then figure out where exactly you want these to land and then tighten the bolts on the side. So it's better to do this not on the table. So I was sitting on the bed tightening this up and then I put it on here. Hopefully it's secure enough. I'm about to flip this. I'm really scared, but it's okay. I got hopes. I got hopes. Nice and slow. Oh, I have a table. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. 
fine. Okay, I think this is sturdy enough. I got all my handprints on it, but I think this is sturdy enough. So what I'm going to do is clean up all these boxes. Like, it's all these boxes. Gotta go. And I think I want to move my bed over so I can have like a separate dining area. Come on, focus on me. Come on, focus on me. I think I'm gonna move my bed so I can have a separate dining area. I'm so excited. I have a place to eat. I'm tired of eating in my bed. That's just nasty. But yeah, I'll be right back with the final look. I'm so cute. All right, hey y'all, how you doing? It's the next day, so I have been moving furniture around, and today I'm gonna go to Forever 21 to return the stuff, and I might stop at Home Goods if it's not too dark outside. Let me show you guys a setup right now. This is what I'm working with. All right, all right, all right. So I'm standing at the doorway. This is the door, so you walk in. This is what you see first, the dining area, and this is the bed room <laughs> with my dresser and the TV. And don't mind the filming setup back there. I'm trying to figure out this entire this is what you first see when you walk in i'm not sure if i like it yet it's really hard because i looked on pinterest and like when you think of a bedroom you think about like a bed a, a dresser and a side table a desk and possibly a couch but you don't think of a dining room so mixing together a bedroom and a dining area is hard i want to add like a rug under this to like separate the two spaces and originally i had this on this wall and I had this right here and then I also tried the bed facing the other way and having this right here I'm gonna insert some pictures if I have any but yeah if you guys have any ideas on how this should look <laughs> let me know but I do know that I need some art on these walls this is why the full entire apartment tour hasn't come yet because I need to add a little bit more a little razz dazzle a little art and stuff you know but i'm about to get ready to go i just got done with class which took forever i woke up so late my phone died and i felt so bad i woke up to a dead phone a dead computer and my teacher emailed me like where are you i'm like um i skipped today but i went to class as a good scholar should do but yeah i'm about to return some stuff to forever 21 that you saw me try on i'm thinking about from home goods i'm gonna get some placemats for some plates i might get I don't know, like a decorative centerpiece or something. I don't know. I'm gonna see what I see and I'm gonna take y'all with me, okay? Okay, let's go before the sun go down because black woman should not be outside by herself at night. Okay, let's go. This Forever 21 is huge, man. The pumpkins are on sale. These are cute, but are they fifty dollars cute? I don't know. Cause they fold out. That's kind of cool for my try on hauls. I don't know. Okay, I am back. The subway wasn't that bad, and it wasn't crowded, which I love. Forever Twenty One. That's the best Forever Twenty One, hands down. It has four levels. Beautiful. It's huge. I just wish they had more like plus size stuff. I didn't see a plus size section. That's the only downfall to that. And as you guys saw when I was walking to Home Goods, I saw the um, Stop Killing Black People. They were having, I don't know, I, I wouldn't really call it a protest. It was just people outside with signs, you know, cars driving by honking and someone had a megaphone and they were just saying the names of black people who have died. And the crowd of people were repeat the names back. So it was nice to see. Times is crazy, man. Times is crazy. All I did at Forever 21 was I returned my stuff. I did not buy anything new. I picked up some pot pies on the way home because I have some mashed potatoes, mac and cheese, and some green beans, but I have no meat, so I got some chicken. But real quick, I wanna show you guys what I got from Home Goods. You know, it was all decked out with Christmas stuff, but I really was just looking for something to put on this table. I want like a centerpiece and like some placemats and stuff like that for my plates. So I got these placemats. It's like a nice 
khaki tannish color. I wish I could find a color that was darker than this, but I think this will look cute. I already decided I'm not gonna really decorate for Christmas because Christmas really isn't my favorite holiday. You guys know I love Halloween and I'm going home for Christmas. I'm kind of nervous about getting on a plane, but I'm going home for Christmas. So I don't really see reason to decorate if when I come back, it's gonna be around January. But nonetheless, I did pick up a tree. I picked up one tree to put in the center of my table. I think this is pretty cute. And I really couldn't hold back. I got some candles, okay? I got some candles, I only got two. Let me take this out, okay. So this candle is scented whiskey bourbon, bourbon, bourbon? Yeah, whiskey bourbon. And it smells so good. It smells like, I don't know, it smells like lemony, citrusy. What are they? They're not, they're not, um, they're not cough drops. They kind of smell like the Halls, the vitamin C ones. That's what this smells like. This smells very citrusy and I just love the color of it. I feel like when I'm done with the candle and I scoop all the wax out, I can reuse this as something else. And I also got this candle. It's called Peppermint Bark and it smells just like Peppermint Bark. It smells just like chocolate and peppermint. I don't know how it's gonna smell when I burn it, but it smells so good. And I think it'll look cute next to my little tree on the table. And speaking of Peppermint Bark, I picked up some Peppermint Bark squares. I love these. This is like, it's like candy corn for me. I only get it like around once a year. I think it's limited time anyway. But I only get it like once a year. I splurge on it a little bit and then I'm done. <laughs> but I'm about to put all this stuff on the table to see exactly how it looks to see if I like the vibe because I'm not afraid of returning anything. Y'all know that. Okay, okay. Do you feel the vibes? Does it look cool? Does it look cute? I might move the table over a little bit. The mats are kind of big, but big enough for my plates. I think it looks very simple, very cute. I don't like fake flowers or anything like that, so I didn't put anything like that in the center. Next year, I might go out loud. Who knows? Yeah, I start listening to music again. <laughs> but I think right now, I'm just going to eat my dinner, um, put some stuff away, and I might film a video real quick. Like maybe like a hairstyle or something. But I'm gonna see you guys later, probably tomorrow. But yeah, I gotta eat, so yeah. I'll pick up the camera if anything interesting happens. Yep. Hey there, beautiful people. It is Sunday, the Lord's Day. You know when you take a nap and like your twist starts to occur? Just ignore that. But yeah, I was just lounging around, planning out my week. And y'all, I'm looking nervous. As you know, I'm going home for Thanksgiving and I don't know what I'm more nervous about. The fact that I don't have a suitcase I have to pack tonight because I leave tomorrow morning. I don't have a suitcase with all my suitcases at home in Detroit. So I'm going to pack as much as I can into a little backpack. I think I have clothes in my room at home, so it should be good. I don't know if I'm more nervous about that or I'm more nervous that I didn't tell my parents that I'm coming home. <laughs> This go either like really, really good or really, really bad. If like my friends who are watching, you know my dad. He is so nice and caring. He's just, he hates surprises. And I low-key forgot that he hates surprises. I don't know if I want to film his reaction when I walk into the door. <laughs> my best friend is picking me up. Y'all know Kess. Y'all love Kess. Don't touch me, don't look at me, don't sniff me. <laughs> don't sniff, don't think about me, don't say my name. <laughs> so my best friend's picking me up tomorrow from the airport. I'm not that nervous about getting on the plane. I've not been on the plane all 2020. The last time I was in the plane was like 2019. Yeah, I'm not that nervous about that. I got my hand sanitizer, I got extra masks, and I got prayers. So being on the plane, I'm fine with that. You're not next to me, I'm not next to you. We keep our distance, you leave me alone, I leave you alone. I'm fine with that. As soon as somebody is, has a little cough, I'm gonna switch my flight, like instant. <laughs> But yeah, hope you guys are doing well. I think I'm about to start packing. It's like 7 p.m. or something like that. I just got off the phone with my dad saying, yeah, yeah, it's sad and I'm not coming for Thanksgiving. I'm like, this is gonna be a terrible surprise. <laughs> but I'm gonna start packing. Um, I'm probably gonna do something to my hair. Like, this is cute, this is fine, you know, I could curve these down. But I think I'm going to do twists all over my head because I don't feel like doing my hair while I'm on my little mini vacation. I just want to go home and edit. I don't want to really film anything. <laughs> what are you guys' like holiday plans? I want to know how you guys holiday went because I'm pretty sure this vlog is coming out after Thanksgiving. For me, I already tested negative so I'm not worried about anything like that. I'm kind of worried about the rest of the world because I don't know what they're doing. So I hope that you're being safe for Thanksgiving and for Christmas. Hope that you're being safe. Hope that you and your family have fun. Whether you are partying in person or partying over Zoom. I hope that we all ate good, work out a little bit. Because <laughs> the summer body going to... Mm, what is the summer body, honestly? I'm low-key rambling. I'm going to start filming and packing. So yeah, I hope you're doing well.
Okay, while I'm deconditioning, I'm packing. So I got two pairs of jeans, my comfy sweatpants, a sweatshirt, shirt, sweater, sweater, kind of sweater, uh, my pajamas. This is what I'm gonna wear to the airport. I'm gonna wear this hoodie and probably like one pair of jeans or like some leggings or something. You know, bra, socks, underwear. So yeah, I'm really proud that I'm packing right now, but I'm almost done. I already know it's gonna be cold tomorrow. It's gonna be cold in Detroit. It's gonna rain all week, which kind of sucks. So yeah, I'm debating bringing my rain boots, but like, remember, I'm only putting all this in like my backpack, so I can't bring too much. a good wash day i was just jamming to some music or whatever so this is what i'm gonna be wearing tomorrow coat hoodie some jeans are under here i'm all packed so this is my bag this bag is stuffed i got my umbrella right here this is a five nights at freddy umbrella childish i know in the front pocket i have my charger i have extra masks hand sanitizer my house keys um the only thing that's missing in here is the camera and my wallet i'm probably gonna pack those last in here it's stuffed with clothes and my laptop is back there with the charger inside so yeah Oof. get back to where the lighting was good the lighting was good in the kitchen that's crazy look at that lighting better in the kitchen that's weird i hate having stuff drip on me i don't always wash my hair in the sink i just did for like being inside the shower so i'm gonna do is film back there i'm gonna twist up my hair and then i'm gonna clean my apartment real quick and then i'm gonna go to sleep because i have a flight tomorrow let me know in the comments below if you like to clean before you leave for a long period of time because i like to I like to make sure everything's nice and clean so when i come back after a week i'm like oh so nice and clean here i could just relax i like to do that so yeah I'm probably not going to see you guys till tomorrow. So see you guys tomorrow. I'm still nervous. I haven't fully decided how I'm going to get there. <laughs> like I could take an Uber or a Lyft. But it's cheaper if I take the bus. I've never been on a bus before. I've been on the subway before. You guys have seen that already. Okay, I feel like I'm almost a pro. But I've never been on a bus before. So I'm going to wake up like two to three hours earlier to really figure out, you know, my route. To make sure I don't get lost and be late. Because fingers crossed the airport's not crowded. I think it might be. But I feel like everybody who was planning on traveling should have traveled this weekend. I'm traveling on a Monday. So hopefully it's not too crowded. But we're going to pray. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning you guys. It is currently 9 a.m. I decided to take the bus. i never been on the bus before. But I'm going to try it. If it's a complete and utter fail. I'm just going to take a $40 Uber. I just don't feel like paying for that. Um, I'm really hoping that at least three people on the bus that I can like watch to see how it works. I'm pretty sure you just get on, you swipe your card, and you wait till your stop comes up. I don't know, man. I grew up in the times where people use quarters, okay? I don't know. But if I seem a little jittery, it's because I haven't slept yet. You know, I can't sleep when I'm nervous, so I did not sleep last night but i'm all packed my entire apartment is clean i did the dishes i put everything away i took the trash out low-key is raining outside right now i'm kind of upset about that i i uh, but yeah it's raining i'm probably gonna put the camera away and just continue vlogging on my phone until i land so yeah we're gonna pray for a safe flight i'm about to water my plants over there charlie and charlie's sister who i have not named yet and yeah, we're about to head out. I am exhausted. <laughs> uh, fingers crossed for a safe flight. That's all I gotta say. so creepy let's play among us right now okay you find a lobby then all right you guys so before it gets, dim, before it gets 
fill up. I got this. But all right, you guys, I'm back in Detroit. So I tried to get on the bus and it started to rain and the bus was going the wrong way. So that happened. I got off and took an Uber, paid $40. Uh, but yeah, the plane ride was all right. I mean, nobody coughed. It wasn't that crowded. It was kind of crowded when people were like boarding and getting on and getting off. But besides that, it wasn't too bad. And yeah, I'm back in Detroit. Cass picked me up. We had pizza. Best friend in the house. And yeah, we're going to get some ice cream and then surprise. Ooh, I can't even see y'all. Surprise my dad that I'm home. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Hold on, hold on. D S N E C. Wait. Yeah, I think you'll be fine. There's only three. Okay. Yay, there's four. <laughs> So we're about to go see my dad's reaction to me being home. So yeah, I'll see you guys in a minute. Pop. Hello? Hey. Anybody home? <laughs> hello? Hello, hello? I was friend of the Cody. Hi, Daddy. What's your deal? I got a last minute flight. Oh my goodness. Uh, <laughs> you gotta go stay in the basement. In the basement? Man, you got to go live in the basement for the next month. Why? Girl, we don't know where you came from. I was safe. I'm gonna give you a left hug, though. I'm gonna give you a left hug. I'm gonna give you a left hug. That's my baby. I'm gonna give you a left hug. That's my baby. I'm gonna give you a left hug. That's my baby. Hi, sweetie. Hi, daddy. Okay, are you done? It's all you know. Yeah, yeah this, it's, it's all me. Oh, no, no, no. the holiday. Oh my goodness. What's on your next? Just this. Hey. How you doing? I bought poinsettias. That's nice. <laughs> Just that? Yeah. Seven days worth of clothes here. <laughs> <laughs> what? What are you making? What, what, what are we eating? Uh, there's <laughs> chicken pie. And what is that bread? That's bread made out of bananas. Oh, okay, okay. Hi. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm officially, officially at home, so I hope that you enjoyed this vlog. Give it a thumbs up, a like, comment down below, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye.